Hi, this is your host, Dr. Agnes Cabredo, for another lesson on good English. We're going to direct our attention to a mistake in our writing, which is wordiness. Wordiness tells us that a certain piece of writing is cluttered with extra, so many unnecessary words, which fog the reader. The mind of the reader has to clear out first so many words before they can understand the message. So, wordiness cannot be avoided. You have to slash, trim down in order to get only the essentials of the sentence and then come out with trimmed sentences and the meaning is still full. So many unnecessary words make it appear that we have junks in our language. No other thing to do but to avoid it because junk food gives us a feeling of fullness but actually you are on an empty stomach no nutrition so let's proceed with eliminating worthiness let's start with the phrase honest truth the essence here is truth truth. If it is honest, it is truth. So, just retain truth. Next, past experience. Any experience is past. So, it is logical to just say experience. Next is past history. Again, History is past, so it is adequate to say history. Next, fatally killed. Who oh, killed is sufficient. Revert back. This is repetition. So, just say revert. Then foreign imports, when you import, it is from a foreign land, so import. Partial stop, the best is just to choose stop. Then through facts, oh, once it is a fact, it is true. So again, it's enough to say facts. Free gift, oh, if it is a gift, it is for no cost. So it is gift, which should be used. Live and breathe. Again, just say live, because when you breathe, you live. So, live means you're still breathing. Null and void. Again, the same words, so just say null. And most unique, just say unique. Seize and deceased. The same meaning, so just get one. Seize. Then, soup du jour of the day. When it is du jour, it is of the day. 
So it is sufficient to say soup du jour. At 8 a.m. in the morning, just say at 8 a.m. because a.m. means morning. Next, sum total and end result. Total, that's already the result. So it's either total or result. Leaving no living survivors. So, just say leaving no survivors. Proceed ahead. Just say proceed. Successfully escaped. Meaning, if you're successfully in escaping, just say escaped. So, that means it brings with it a successful exit. So, escaped. Minus 8 degrees below zero. It's enough to say minus 8 degrees. And forward progress. Progress has no other direction except being forward. Set a new record. It's enough to say set a record. Kill bugs dead. Just say kill bugs because kill and dead are the same, synonymous. At this point in time, this is a very popular expression among officials, among speakers, among leaders. At this point in time, just say now. Red in color, just say red. Extra gratuity. Gratuity is extra. I mean, you don't ask for it. So it's a gratuity. Continue to remain. Just say remain. Small in size. Small. Because when you say small, you're talking of size. Few in number. So just say few. Few. New innovation. An innovation is always new. Therefore, innovation. Complete stop. Meaning stop. When you say stop, it's really a complete halt. So just say stop. Combine together. Either combine or together. Because it is implied that when you are together, you are combined. When you are combined, the, the items are together. So it is combined. Final end. Just say end. At this point in time, you say now. So that leaves you a lot of space because you are substituting only a word for that phrase. At the present time, also you say now. For the purpose of, one word will stand for it, for. In the event that, just apply the word if, if, until such time as, say, until, in view of the fact that oh, one word will represent your idea, because, because of the fact that, again, just say, because, due to the fact that, Again, you say, because. In order to utilize, science, it sounds sophisticated to say utilize, but use the simpler word, use. Is an example of, is, that's the truth. 
free up some space. Meaning, make room. Make room. My personal physician, it says. My doctor. Thunderstorm activity. This is already an activity. A thunderstorm activity. So I just say thunderstorm. Weather event. So it can be snow, it can be rain, it can be typhoon. Believe in many that. Many believe. Many believe. Experience from discomfort. What is the experience from discomfort? It may be pain or hurt. Just say hurt. In order to use to. Making an effort to. Trying to. Completely surrounded. Say surrounded. On all sides. So, it's completely surrounded on all sides. It's enough to say, surrounded. Reiterated over and over again. That means, repeated. Let's proceed with an exercise. Uh, practice. Eliminating wordiness. Let's see the difference between the original sentence and the repaired or revised sentence. It is a true fact that in Tennessee, it is illegal to shoot any game for the purpose of harming them other than whales from a moving automobile. Okay, so let's try to eliminate the unnecessary words. So it is a true fact. We eliminate this. We can say, in Tennessee, it is illegal to shoot any game. other than whales from a moving automobile. Again, let's read. <clears throat> In Tennessee, it is illegal to shoot any game other than whales from a moving automobile. Is it that simple? So, you notice the effect. Remove all unnecessary Remove the junks, and then you'll come out with a much shorter but clearer sentence. Next, <clears throat> at this point in time, it is illegal to drive more than 2,000 sheep down Hollywood Boulevard at one time. Okay, crush out again. At this point in time, start with. It is illegal to drive more than 2,000 sheep down Hollywood Boulevard at one time. Or done. Okay. It is illegal to drive more than 2,000 sheep down Hollywood Boulevard. Let's have another practice. What I mean to say is that in Boston, it is illegal to hold frog jumping contests in nightclubs. Okay. Look at it more clearly. Notice that it is unnecessary to put this introduction. What I mean to say is that 
grass it. In Boston, it is illegal to hold frog jumping contests in nightclubs. The introduction is lengthy and unnecessary. Let's take the next. It is a true fact, again, that in Devon, Connecticut, it is unlawful to walk backward in a reverse direction after sunset when the sun has already set. So, again, remove this. In Devon, Connecticut, it is unlawful to walk backward. after sunset. Let me see. Is there any more that we can delete? In Devon, Connecticut, it is unlawful to walk backward in a reverse direction. The same. So, to walk backward after sunset. Let's read again. In Devon, Connecticut, it is unlawful to walk backward after sunset. You will notice that the extra words are sometimes expressions made by the speaker. So, it is the honest truth that horses are forbidden to eat fire hydrants in a very real sense in Iowa. Okay? So let's get to the main idea. Again, this expression Horses are forbidden to eat fire hydrants in Iowa. How is that? Let's read again. Horses are forbidden to eat fire hydrants in Iowa. Isn't that much simpler? So, I think... There is so much that you can do. Clarity is achieved by doing away, setting aside wordiness. I hope you learned something from this lesson. If you did, please subscribe and share this channel. Thanks for watching.